The COVID-19 pandemic has ravaged the music industry, and as the going gets tough, many musicians are finding it hard to make ends meet. Take the case of Masli Hassan. When the movement control order was first announced in March last year, Masli decided to stream his performances on Facebook, as he could not perform at pubs or at events, or even busk due to the strict SOPs during the first MCO. Masli's Facebook music managed to attract 3,000 viewers, but it did not translate into enough earnings. I managed to get only 40 ringgit. I could only afford cigarettes, he told FMT. A paltry sum, which certainly was not enough to pay his landlord, to whom he already owes four months rent. Masli says that SOPs cannot be a one-size-fits-all, and the government should engage stakeholders for a win-win solution. We can work around SOPs, and we want to work. Something is better than nothing. And if SOPs can be created for restaurants and factories, why not us? Another musician, jazz singer Eddie Zakaria, described MCO 2.0 as another sucker punch for all of us in the industry. He said he has had six events cancelled between October and December because of the extended movement restrictions, while the aid the government has been promising has not reached the musicians and performers in the club circuit. With virtually all avenues closed to earn a living, they still sent me my income tax bill to pay in October. Talk about being kicked when you're down, he said. Adding in despair, why can't they allow at least a soloist or a two-piece band? If they could allow 30 to 40 patrons in, what is wrong with having one or two performers who are on stage, away from the crowd? Jude Singo, a member of Os Pombos, a six-piece band, said he has been without income for 10 months and the latest round of movement restrictions makes no difference. To help alleviate the plight of musicians, Jude hopes for two things to happen, namely, corporate companies lending a helping hand by hiring full-time musicians for events, and the government providing grants to these professionals. Now, we are at the tail end of our businesses, and the market is not getting any better, he said.